Hello and welcome along and welcome to No Man's Land. We have just started off here at the shop and I'm looking for somewhere to purchase and get myself started. This is the first time I've actually been on this map. Um, I know it's really popular with lots and lots of people in Farming Simulator 19. 22 is going to be my first experience of it. And trying to pick somewhere on this vast wasteland to uh, start off is uh, is quite daunting. And uh, yeah, where is the best place to go? Lots of hills, lots of trees, uh, lots of areas. I'm, I'm very much thinking up here uh, there is an area. There's, there's a good wooded area and the, the sort of the standard start area on here might be a good place for me to start. I mean, look at all this space that we've got to work with. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head up to the standard start area here. It has a field uh, with it, and it's got space, and, yeah, it's a pretty good place for us to start. So, what are we going to be doing in this series? We have this truck, and that's it. So, uh, we've got 2,346.5 hours on it. This is actually the truck that comes with uh, No Man's Land. Um, whatever game mode you start on, you get a truck and you get a load of machinery. I have removed the other machinery. I have removed all the money. We've got just the truck. And that's it. So, anything we do on here, we are going to have to borrow money to do. We literally have 50 euros. That's it. So, uh, we've got uh, well, we've got a sort of water here, which is good. Uh, we've got a field, which I am going to expand the hell out of. It has got uh, potatoes and rocks and is just generally in a bad way. Um, and, uh, yeah. Now, to get started here, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to borrow money. We've, we, I mean, this is literally, there's no contracts, nothing like that at all. So, yeah. First thing we're going to be doing today is borrowing cash. So uh, you can see I've removed a whole load of money from here. We are going to borrow the 85,000 to get us started. There we go. And then we're going to head up here and we are in plot 26. So let's get that purchased. Now the beautiful thing about this plot and part of the reason why I've gone for it is... Because it does have everything we need to get started. Uh, it has got uh, this piece of land here. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, we've got some trees. So we can uh, we can get cutting some trees down. Uh, it's got water, which is something I think we're going to need. What else have we got? We've got... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to be clearing some trees and we've got a whole load of space up this way. Now, the other thing we've got here, of course, is grass and lots of it. So uh, I think we're going to have to do some mowing early on and mow most of our plot. We also have some deer, but there's no way I can uh, turn those into a profit. So what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to need a tractor. We're going to need something that is fairly useful to us. I don't think we have anything in the sails that's massively useful uh no so we've got we've got a teller handler that might be uh that's at forty six thousand. otherwise the rest of this while it's cheap isn't going to be massively useful to us so let's have a look in our tractors and in our small tractors now i'm very tempted to start off with something like the small old z tour we've got here or the uh porsche diesel however 14 and 25 horsepower doesn't really give us enough. The one I think that is probably the smallest tractor that gives us enough is going to be something like, well, the methane-powered uh, New Holland is very tempting to me to get started on here. Um, absolutely great little tractor, this. I don't know. We're going to be doing a lot of plowing and stuff like that to start off with. How much is a methane point? Because we... we to fuel it is going to be a pain so let's have a look here at the construction and i think it's under silos nope tools here we go uh yeah there we go so a biomethane station would cost us five thousand 
So not horrible, actually. Uh, we could we could start with that. That would probably do the job. Now mowers, uh, whether it would work well with a mower, that is a good question. Let's have a look. Uh, mowers, we've got the little. Uh, oh wow, that is that is not expensive at all. I'm very much thinking that we would do well to start with a smaller tractor, 40 horsepower, something that isn't overly power requirement. I, mean, I am thinking this Massey, actually. This Massey Ferguson uh, 3700 AL is fairly good. No front attacher, I don't think. Uh, we've got a front loader we can put on it, but no front linkage. Uh, we've got rear linkage, though. Uh, yeah, this would, this would probably do us quite well. 43,000 for 75 horsepower. I could throw it up to um, a 95 horsepower for 53. So we're going to go for this. This is the Massey Ferguson uh, 3700 AL. We're going to go for the 3709 which is an extra uh, 10,000. Uh, we put the quickie on it and the Michelin tires. And yep, uh, that will be 56,000. So we're going to need to borrow that money as well. Let's go into here and borrow another 56,000 and back into our Massey tractor like so uh license plate will be vf uh zero zero two and uh no man's land uh plate color i'm going for is new holland blue <coughs> and uh yeah that's perfect there we go let's buy that yes i want to right and then Bits of equipment we need on it. So we're going to have to borrow money for this. We're going to need a plow. Uh, <coughs> plow is going to be massively important to us on this map. Um, but uh, we can plow stuff up later. Right now, I think we need to get a mower. And I'm looking at 2.4 meters. 3.1 for 9,500 uh, is actually probably better for us although i think this will mount forward and back so yeah we're gonna go for this uh 12 000. let's purchase that as well so again borrowing money there we are yeah a mower is something we're gonna need on a fairly regular basis so we'll buy that as well and then if we head out, we can head back here to the shop where we've got our little Massey Ferguson tractor. There we go. All right, in low gear range. So this has... Yeah, up to high. Uh, this has a uh, great little engine. Or this has a great little set of gears that we got to follow into reverse and then we'll hook it up we are running manual attach on here as well right hook all of that up i think it up right let's get our mower back to our farm and uh we can start cutting all of the grass around see if we can get a nice little bit of autumn cut before we get ourselves in the position where we need to start working through the winter. We're also going to need to get uh, probably something to do. We're going to need a chainsaw, which we can afford at the moment. And we're going to need a trailer to transport. Well, actually, no, we've got the back of the pickup. So we just need a chainsaw to start chopping some trees as well. Making a little bit more space and, uh, and getting some more money in. So we're back up into our land and basically now I want to cut uh, as much grass as I can around here. So let's get this uncovered. None of this I don't think it, none of this is field grass. 
but all of it will still work for us uh, to make silage bales from. And that is, uh, is really going to be my first target, is to get as much silage off here as we possibly can. Uh, take it up to the bale point oh, and get it uh, all done. So, edge of my land is here. Right, that's good to know. You're right on the edge of this field. So we'll basically get as much grass cut around here as possible. We have got it set to uh, three day months. Um, but that won't kick in until the next game day. So we've got one day of August. Uh, and then we're going to be doing lots and lots of uh, days for other months. Um, which should give us enough time. We're going to be running at ten times throughout this series. Uh, but uh, it's going to be yeah, very much like what we're doing on Hobelleron. Where it's uh, three day months at ten times rather than two day months at five times. So why am I starting off by cutting this bit? This is the area where I'm going to want to expand my field into. So if we get this bit cut and uh, and we get this cleared of grass, uh, we'll basically then be able to come in here with the plow, uh, plow the square field that we've got here, open it up a little bit and uh, make sure that we've got a decent sized field to work with. Now uh, we can get, get this planted and all set up and everything. Uh, stone picking, I don't know if that's going to be something that we can do easily, uh, but we want to basically try and make as much money as quickly as possible we can here so before we clear and plow and and incorporate anything uh, any area into our farm what we really need to do is make sure we've made the most money off it we can already so that's what uh, this is all about uh, with getting it mowed uh, we get this cut we get this road and uh, bailed uh, and wrapped and we'll be in a position where uh, we'll get a little bit of money off this it won't be a huge amount because this uh, as I said before this isn't field grass but it will at least give us uh, a little bit of money back for this we should actually pay for the mower I think uh, doing silage bales of course silage bales take a few days to ferment so uh, we won't be able to immediately make money back but if we can pay the loan off as we go as well, uh, that will work out quite well for us. So, let's put this right here. There we go. But yeah, getting these silage bales done and uh, and getting money for them uh, as soon as we can is, uh, is fairly imperative. Which is why I haven't gone straight into cutting wood. If I'd gone straight into cutting wood... Uh, then uh, we would, yes, make uh, some immediate money, but we'd then have a bigger gap before we made the next amount. So trying to, to sort of keep our money coming in on a regular basis. Uh, the other way we should be able to get some cash in here is maybe get some eggs going and things like that. Uh, get the chickens up and running uh, fairly early would be a good thing as well. Uh, we will have a cost associated with that. Uh, but uh, we will see how we do with that in a bit. But yeah, look at this. This is a good area of grass for us to get started with. And um, yeah, should bring us in a little bit of cash uh, in a couple of days' time. Last little bit of grass to finish here off. And our first area of farm should be uh, all cut. Uh, what we want to do is head back down to the shop after this. We need something to row this up and get it uh, get it ready to be baled. So let's turn this off, fold it up, and uh, and we'll just plonk it over here for now. I quite like our lakeside uh, area here. It's a it's a really nice starting area that this map has. And, uh, and it shows here. Um, I really like this. 
Uh, let's head up to the shop and uh, go and grab something to get this stuff rolled up. Now, in the interest of trying to keep our costs down, we're not going to be buying a very expensive wind rower either. So, let's come into here. Where is our purchase button? There's the garage. Yeah, there we are. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. It's a tiny little uh, icon there, but it is at the desk. So uh, a couple of things I want to pick up. We need to pick up a wind rower. Um, and we've got a couple of uh, possibilities here. We've got the uh, uh, SIP uh, favorite uh, 254, which is, uh, which is really good. What's our brands? Oh, we might as well go with the same brand as our mower. Uh, or we got the po uh, Potinger top here for roughly the same price. Um, I'm going to go for something a little bit different. I, I want to go with this uh, this sip. But we, again, all of this is going to be around borrowing money. So we need to borrow another 5,000. Uh, we need to head back to the shop. There she is. Uh, and we're going to purchase this in this setup. So buy that. Yes. Okay. And then in a bit, we're gonna we're gonna be making silage bales. So my choice is gonna be between getting a baler that also wraps. So something like uh the Roland Uvenu wrap, 145 horsepower, 150 horsepower. Yeah, I think all of the 130, yeah, everything that wraps as well is out of our price range. Uh, we're therefore looking at something like, wow, do all the bales requ balers require at least 100 horsepower? What about this old New Holland? 45 horsepower. So yeah, it's going to be that old New Holland for 30,000. Um, not bad. Uh, that should do us uh, fairly nicely, to be honest. So... Let's just go and grab this and hook it up. Lots of cheap, small equipment we're looking to start with. Uh, and, um, yeah, generate as much money as possible and get this loan paid off as quickly as possible by using that stuff. And, uh, and yeah, basically getting as much money in as constantly as we can. Uh, by the winter time, I really want to have both a greenhouse set up and... Uh, some chickens or uh, or pigs or, or something that's going to bring us in more money. All right, so back up at the farm. Let's open this out. Can we change the side that this does this on? Or probably not. So let's come around here. Put that down. Don't know what its reach is like. Okay. So we basically want our outer wheel on the outer side of this. And, uh, yeah, gather this up as quickly as possible. What a great little wind rower this is. Uh, although, yeah, I can see on much bigger fields this taking a while. But over time, what I want to do is upgrade our equipment, uh, build this farm really up, and, and basically make as much of this land work for us as we can. Because if we can do that, that is will be the key to uh, to making a success of uh, of what we've got here as much as possible. So next to our tractor, I think our biggest outlay today is going to be the baler. It's that New Holland baler will do us quite nicely. It is thirty thousand. Uh, we're gonna have to get a uh, bale wrapper as well. And, uh, and also something in which to uh, to collect the bales up to. So we're, we're going to get the front loader on this uh, along with a round bale grab. I want to do something. We don't want to be piercing the bales. I still want to be realistic with this. And using a bale spike on the round bales uh, is not going to be an overly realis realistic thing. Especially for bales that we want to sell. So, uh, yeah, I need to go and uh, make sure that we get a, a grab. Apparently, from what I hear, the bale grabs work, uh, the round bale grabs work better in FS22 than they have in previous versions, which is good because they were a real pain in the earlier ones. Uh, let's just get this down here and just pull this away from the edge. Uh, we got a little bit too close 
to the rocks with that last one. And we'll never get the baler in there to get that out. So let's just pull that into the field a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this has rode up quite nicely. We've got a, uh, a good amount of grass off here. As I said, silage bales is definitely the way for us to initially go. Uh, we want to do those to make the most money that we can. Uh, the downside we've got uh, is that there are no productions on here at the moment. Now, we couldn't afford a uh, BGA even if we... Uh, even if there was one on here. But anything that we want to sell beyond the farm shop, we're going to have to do ourselves. Uh, we're going to have to build it ourselves and then um, place it and, uh, and, and make the money that way. So it is going to be a, a little bit of a, an uphill struggle from a production chain's point of view. However... I don't think that's a bad thing. I think us building this whole area up and building ourselves an empire here is, is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and it's going to be something that I'm, I'm looking forward to achieving. So let's pull that there. And then I'm just going to pull this bit again away from this tree a little bit. So that we have an easier time of it when we come to bale. There we go. So that is our area all windrowed up. Uh, what we'll do is we can now go and drop this bit off and go and get the baler and start getting these grass bales um, baled. So back up to the shop again. We'll park our Massey outside. And we just want to go to the bank quickly. Now, I have just checked on the way up here that we can sell silage at the shop. And I'm looking at the buying and selling setup here for the farm shop. And uh, you've got the buying price is higher than the selling price. So I'm guessing the selling price is me selling to the shop, uh, which is good because there is no buying price for silage. So I'm presuming you can't buy silage from the shop, but you can sell it to the shop, which is good. I went into here actually to get ourselves some money. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 31,000. And then into here, into the balers. And we are gonna buy ourselves the BR6090. <laughs> Uh, yellow or yellow two? What is the difference between those two yellows? Oh, we might go with the, uh, we might go with the black. Again, I'm not quite sure where that design color changes. Ah, it's that bit at the back. I think we're going to go with the yellow and black. Um, I quite like that. This should be a great little baler for us. Um, and create some nice round bales. So, buy that. Yes. Okay. And uh, what's the biggest... What I want to know is the biggest bale that we can wrap. Or the, the largest bale we can wrap. So we've got the Cavernan wrapper here, which is going to be 22,000. The largest this will wrap is 150. So if we can create 150 centimeter bales, that might work well for us. Uh, but we'll see how it works. We're creating a very red and yellow farm here. Um, with all of our equipment so far being uh, sort of, well, yeah, mainly yellow, but also with some red in it. And our tractor being, of course, a Massey farm. It's not often that I, uh, I, I go to create a Massey Ferguson farm. Um, but this one, I think, will work quite well. Um, especially when we come to get a larger tractor. There's a really nice, the really uh, classic base game Massey Ferguson tractor. Uh, when we come to do some larger stuff, it's probably going to be fairly useful to us. Now, if you want to get this baler for yourself, uh, you can. It is on the Mods Hub. Um, I think it's available for all platforms. Um, it was released before uh, Mods stopped being released for consoles, so it should be available there. Let's see. Start her up. Drop her down. And what size bales are we creating? Oh, I don't think you can select the size of bales on this. So hopefully it's going to create bales that we can actually do. Filling up fairly swiftly, so that's good news. 
Uh, we should get four, maybe five bales off here, um, which uh, we'll get a, a fairly decent price for, uh, and uh, and help off uh, help offset the cost of our first day's work on here. There we go. And uh, out comes our first bale. Absolutely awesome. We just need to uh, get the rest done. Coming up to our fifth bale. And that's actually pretty good. Five, five bales off here with probably enough grass to go uh, that will give us a sixth is, uh, is really good. That's more than I'd expected to get on here. Um, which is going to make a big difference. Uh, it's basically going to pay for... Well, it's certainly going to pay for our windrower and our... Uh, and our mower. Uh, and, uh, and get us on the way to paying for our baler as well. Uh, which is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, to be in that kind of position. Just off doing this on this first day. Uh, we'll see exactly how much we make in a couple of days' time off these bales. Um, but it's looking like a uh, pretty good setup. We've still got to buy the wrapper. Um, and I'm buying all of this. Uh, because I, I have a bit of a philosophy when it comes to leasing versus borrowing money to buy stuff. If you are going to be using stuff a lot. Uh, and uh, you know, on a regular basis. Borrow the money and get it. Uh, at that point, your the amount that you spend on leasing, that is going to be uh, overshadowed, or that that is going to be easily uh, met by uh, the amount that you lose immediately from buying it, and of course you you get some money back. Whereas uh, if you are leasing because it's it's something you're going to use occasionally. Uh, that is a much better way to go because you'll spend less on the lease uh, than you'll lose uh, than you would lose on the depreciation the moment you buy it. Right, let's unhook this. We got most of a full bale. We're going to be doing some grass work over that way through the trees um, at some point in the next few videos because we're gonna we, we want to be expanding fields. We want to make sure that we have as many fields as we can. Uh, to get started with and uh, yeah going up that way and, and expanding out that way is going to be a very important thing let's go get a bale wrapper though and get these bales wrapped back at the shop and it's going to be about twenty-two thousand, i think for our bale wrapper so it's going to be there we go that will do it Two hundred and fifteen thousand. our loan is now Let's head into here, bale wrappers, and uh, yeah. I could get the extractor of those, but we can't easily sell anything from those. Uh, that's 54,000. I think 22,000 for this one is perfect. Um, I'm going to get the blue bale wrap on it uh, oh, with the end turner. The end turner, I think, is going to be useful to us. We're up to 24,000. We've got 26 to pay with. Vicon or Cavernland? I think we're going to go Vicon, to be honest. There we go. Um, and I love this. So, the license plate has defaulted to the license plate of our tractor. That has got to be a version 1.2, uh, 1.02 update. I love that. That is brilliant. Not having to configure my license plate is absolutely wonderful. Um, you can go and reconfigure it. But I love that it's that it's that. That's just brilliant. So let's uh, buy that again. Buying this because it's something we're going to be using a lot, especially in this early stage. But we can, we're going to have a fair amount of grass kicking about. I think uh, twenty four thousand for this, and yeah, absolutely perfect. There we go. Now the other thing I need to think about is shelter. There's two ways I can go. There's a, a porter cabin house that he came in with version 1.2 or there is the campsite and I might go with the campsite. I'm going to see what the price of the two of them are um, but I think the campsite might be a good way to go. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like 100, 200 uh, pounds so uh, that should be fairly good. 
Okay, so let's get this opened up. Unfold you. And I've got the turner on because the piece of equipment we're going to eventually want to grab, if I look in front loader tools, uh, is... Oh, actually, is not here. I th This is probably the one we want, which is uh, means I, I don't actually want the turner on here. Never mind. Uh, we've got the turner on it anyway, so we'll uh, we'll be turning them, and then we'll have to work it out from there. Maybe there's a tool I can uh, I can download that will uh, will be the bail grab. Uh, but yeah, I thought we uh, I thought we had that. But yeah, this will turn them. This will stop them rolling, uh, which is quite a good uh, use of our setup. Let's get some lights on because it is beginning to get dark. It's been a really good day's work. This uh, we've uh, we've achieved quite a bit here. Oh, had to back that off. It's further out than I realised. Right, bring it round. There we go. And we'll just pile these up down this end of the field. Get them in. There's some pretty big stones. In that uh, in that field, why are you not picking up? Oh. There we go. That's got it. Yeah, quite a lot of stones in there, and uh, that worries me slightly. Uh, knocking them over now, trying to get them in the same area. There we go. But yeah, we could have avoided actually buying the Turner. Seven in the evening. Let's get these collected up. All right, this is my last bale. Let's get that into here and get that cleaned up. And look at that. Yeah. Five, five silage bales off here. Absolutely perfect. Gets us set up very nicely. And tip it. There we go. Right, fold this up. And take it over with our truck. That, I would say, is a fairly successful first day. The only thing left is uh, is for us to set up camp. Let's turn uh, the lights off on that. So, uh, yeah, how much is the housing stuff? Let's go and have a look. Uh, that is under construction here, farmhouses. Uh, we actually got quite a selection of farmhouses here. Uh, we got 10,000. Yeah, we got 100 for the tent. Everything else is in the thousands. So we're going to start off by having a nice campsite over here. Like this. And I will fit in this area quite well, I think. Yep. And put that down. Only costs us 100. And uh, gets us started under the stars. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm really, really pleased with that. We've got our truck. We've got our tractor. And we've got everything we need to make silage bales. Uh, and um, yeah, we're going to be doing some wood. We're going to be doing some plowing and things coming up. This farm is going to be really interesting to see how it develops. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.